Hello, I'm Michael Gross, host of the V&O Railroad Museum Television Network. This classic blue and gold color scheme on B&O locomotives and the iconic Capitol Dome Herald were symbols of the B&O Railroad for generations. The B&O Railroad Herald, known as the Capitol Dome logo, was created by artist and designer Otto Kuhler, one of the best known industrial designers and artists in America. Throughout his career, he designed sports cars, street and subway cars, a typewriter, heat-insulated food containers, passenger and freight cars, but is perhaps best known for his streamlined designs for steam and diesel locomotives. His creative concepts for design still influence American railroads today. In addition, he was a prolific artist of industrial aesthetics and of the American West. Cooler became a U.S. citizen in 1928. Eight years before, he had married Simone Guillot, daughter of a Belgian doctor. Appointed as art director of the B&O Employees magazine in the 1930s and 40s, Cooler was instrumental in developing the blue and gray color scheme used on the company's passenger sets and the modernized herald of B&O. Why was the image of the Capitol Dome chosen to depict the B&O Railroad? We'll find out when the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network returns. Stay tuned for information on upcoming events at the B&O Railroad Museum. Holiday Festival of Trains. Celebrate the holiday season at Baltimore's largest holiday display of toy and model train layouts. Join us for a trainload of fun that has become an annual holiday family tradition. At the time, the B&O's Public Relations Department had developed a marketing scheme centered on the railroad's exclusive lines in and out of Washington, D.C., thus inspiring Cooler's use of the United States Capitol Dome as the central element of their brand. This symbol, instantly recognizable, has had a lasting effect on American popular culture. When B&O turned to streamlining its Washington, New York passenger trains, Cooler designed the Bullet Nose, a streamlined steam locomotive that became known as a Cooler Type. The first Cooler Type locomotive pulled the B&O's famous Royal Blue passenger train between Washington, D.C. and New York on April 25, 1937. Eventually, the Coolers sold their New York home and moved to a ranch near Pine, Colorado. Cattle raising, Functional building design and painting the American West would occupy the autumn of his life. At age 75, he sold the ranch and moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Eight years later, he moved to Denver, Colorado, where Cooler died at age 83. I'm Michael Gross. Thanks for watching the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum in Ellicott City Station? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter with daily updates on upcoming events,
coupons, photographs, history, and things to do in Baltimore, you'll never be off track.